Hi guys, it's Danny here from Our Humble Home. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I stage and style my furniture upcycles and makeovers when I advertise them on Facebook Marketplace or on Gumtree or just when I put them online to try to sell them. So it won't be so much the physical aspect of staging and styling, but more um, the virtual aspect. So I'm not actually putting products in there, I'm virtually putting products in there. So I hope you enjoy today's video and we'll get started. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is just take you through some of the photos that I've taken and that I have staged previously. So what's being circled are the things that I've actually added through Canva. So I've added this surfboard, previously the flowers, um, the floor and the picture on the wall in this photograph I've added. That was actually a tiles on the floor there, they're floorboards now. That little flower was added and I think they look so real. That was added, that plant, um, the picture on the wall and the rug on the floor was added to this picture. Um, that little photo frame was added and I just wrote our humble home on it and that thing at the back on the wall was added as well. Uh, these flowers were added and you might look at some of these and think yeah I can tell that's not real but I think they look pretty good. I think those flowers there might not look that crash hot. Um, that was added just to make the top of the um, bedside table interesting. They were added, that picture and that pot plant was added. Um, yeah, that actually was a, my pot, but the flowers in it I actually added virtually. And occasionally I won't add anything at all to the actual picture. In this instance, I've just got the picture. So the picture, uh, the actual piece is the hero of the picture and it stands out so people can see it properly. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take you through the program. Now the program is Canva and it is free, but I pay for a subscription. You can get more things in that. So I'm just taking the picture this picture here I'll go through some things and add them and show you what I do first I will adjust it go into adjustments and adjust the brightness the temperature that type of thing because sometimes a photo can not quite the right color then I'm going into magic edit here and what I'm doing now is just brushing over the area where I want to add something, where I want to add an item or something. You can adjust the size of the brush um, so you can make it bigger if you've got a bigger item you want to add. In this, and you press continue, in this box you will add or say what you want to add. So an elephant figurine and I'll press press generate. Yeah, so it's generated four options and you can just press the one you like. I think it is still you know they're still working at technical difficulties because one of those elephants actually had two eyes <laughs> but there is normally one um, item that'll come up with that is really good so I'll do something else here and now I think I will add um, I will add in some hardcover books so we'll just see what it comes up with here you click generate and it will come up again with four options and yeah, like I said, not all options you will like, but you can click on them and just see. Um, that there is a bit weird, that that one, but th this one's okay. And if I was going to download it, I would choose that one there. Okay, these are my two white bedside tables that sold really quickly, and I want to put a framed picture of pink flowers in at the back, so I've just marked out where I want it and written that down and it came up with four options and of course you can only see part of the picture which is fine because it's not meant to be the whole picture and I just pick out one I like and I actually did use um, this particular picture I downloaded it and used it when I was advertising. This is one that was at the beginning um, and this was my little beachy bedside table and I love this little bedside table but I wanted something a little bit more beachy I guess and so I just added a floorboard there and a picture but I'll show you what it was like before I did anything to it so that's the picture I actually took so it looks very boring and plain so I went in and I edited that but I'll show you also I edited it with a surfboard so I'll show you how I did that so I go into magic edit I will brush over the area where I want the surfboard to be I press continue and write in what I want. So I've got girls, pink flower, surfboard. 
generate and it came up with some options yeah um, just be careful too where you brush over because I did brush out of the picture and some of the items were out of the picture but yeah that one was really pretty um, this is another one of my makeovers that I sold recently I had it advertised for 185 I sold it for 145 and I'm just adjusting the temperature here because it looked a little bit yellow I'm just making it a little bit more white and adjusting the clarity of it um, what I'm going to do here instead of doing the magic edit I'm actually going to elements and I'm going to add elements in so this one you have to sort of search out and put in yourself it's different to the magic edit in that respect but in some ways it's actually better I think you can choose exactly what you want and you can add it so I've added this little plant here and I've put it to make it look like it's sitting on the um, bedside table and um, this works really well actually just adding elements in and you know you can experiment with different things and you can put them in and you can take them out and you can delete them until you find things that you really like and that work really well um, so I'm looking I think for another pot plant find another plant that we could put in there and here I'm just really showing you what you can do. I don't think I would do this if I was advertising this piece of furniture. Well, I never, I never did that advertising this piece of furniture because it sort of covers it up. But I'm just sort of showing you how um, how real it, it can look, how good um, and yeah, true to life that can actually look. So what I'm going to do now is put in a hanging pot. I just typed it in elements under photos and I'll just add a hanging pot in here so with the hanging pot I probably would add a shadow to that just to make it look a bit more realistic because you normally would have a shadow behind there and just adjust the shadow um, yeah the lightness and the distance and that sort of thing yeah, but that looks pretty cool. Just adds to the photo as well. Just to show you how, you know, realistic um, the elements are, I'll just add in some toys there. And it actually looks like these little toys are sitting on the floor in front of it. Um, sometimes you will type in what you want, but you won't get it with a transparent background. Um, I, if you can't find anything, type in what you want and then type in afterwards transparent background. If still nothing comes up, you can just add the whole picture in, go into edit photo and click background remover and it will take the background out for you and it will make it transparent. Um, so here I wanted to add in some carpet or a rug, I don't know what I said there, but it's changed the whole floor to a wooden floor and to uh, different types of rugs so um, yeah I chose that rug there and I thought that looked pretty cool and in that one I actually added a picture as well on the back here I'm doing something else I'm actually mocking up a whole room and I, I've never done this before to actually sell any of my things but I thought I might do it just see see how I can do it so this is my little beachy bedside table and actually there was only one of them so yeah I couldn't really <laughs> use this to advertise them but I went into elements and typed in bed in a bedroom and it came up with a heap of photos this one was good because it was pretty a pretty blank canvas and so I'm just sort of placing the bedside tables where I think they might be next to the bed I actually did put a bit of a shadow you can see on the left hand side one there's a shadow there and um, just to make it look a bit more realistic actually when I duplicated that it didn't come the other one didn't have a shadow on it which is interesting I've never noticed that before so I should have really gone into the right hand one and added a, photo, uh, a shadow as well um, here I'm just adding a picture frame and I'm going to add a picture on the wall behind the bed <laughs> picture of a crazy little puppy dog at the beach with his sunnies on <clears throat> yeah 
and then you can just adjust that and move it around anything you don't like you can delete I'm going to add a plant on top of the bedside table that one I was going to put on the other bedside table but I think I might put it on the floor see what it looks like on the floor in front of the bed because I'm not really it doesn't matter if I obscure the bed too much it's the really the bedside tables that um, I'm trying to advertise anyway so I'll put that one there I'm just adding a little shadow there as well gonna add a vase of flowers to the other bedside table I think I actually just add see there I'm just adding transparent background because nothing came through oh well, there's a rug there I thought I'd add that to the bed at the front so to bring the um, plant forward you click right click you press layer and then bring to front or bring forward and that will bring it forward um, and I'm just going to add this vase and put some flowers in that vase so there are no flowers in that vase so I'm going to have to go in and find some so I just add flowers, transparent background and I take those over that again they'll be in front of the vase so what I do is right click on the flowers press layer send to back or send send backwards actually so layer send backward and that will make it look like they're actually sitting in the vase yeah so that looks I'm happy with that that looks pretty cool like that um, what I'm going to do though is change the picture that's in the frame make it look a little bit more beachy to go with my beachy bedside table theme after I had edited this I went in and actually added some wallpaper and some skirting board to the back wall to make it look a bit more like it was a wall that is just one white background so um, yeah I did this to make it look a little bit more like a bedroom and yeah it's not perfect and I've never done it before but I think it looks cool so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope you will stay tuned for next week's video it will be another upcycle have a great week and thanks for watching bye